welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm here with a post review for you guys. This is a, another Diamond Art Club kit. Um, and I have some thoughts, <laughs> like I always do. So let's quickly run through this. So this kit here is Pink Roses. Again, it's from Diamond Art Club. The artist is Kelly Eddington. This is a 66 centimeter by 51 centimeter round drill. And there were six ABs in this kit. I, let me move my little notebook here. I absolutely love this finish. I think it's beautiful. It's been quite a while since I've worked on like a full floral. Um, actually my first ever diamond painting was of a sunflower <laughs> and I don't think I've ever, like since then, I don't think I've done a completely full floral image. Obviously my last finish was Sweet Pea and there were flowers in that one, but this is just flower. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I just think it turned out absolutely gorgeous. I think it was the perfect piece for spring. Um, I, think I, I, I think I started this on Easter or right around Easter and I just thought it was the perfect kit for that time and yeah I'm hoping you're seeing most of it I will go ahead and put in a full image here uh, just so you can get a, a feel for the entire piece at once but I just think this is stunning um, I had a couple of things that I wasn't crazy about, and that's mostly in relation to the drills. So when I show you the drills that I had left over and the trash, I'll go through all of that. But as far as the things that I loved about this kit, I think the rendering is absolutely gorgeous. I think Diamond Art Club did a wonderful job. Um, translating the artist's original artwork. Now, Kelly Eddington, I believe she only works in watercolors. Um, so for them to get this rendering from a watercolor image, I think it's just amazing. And I think it shows like the talent of a hand charting human <laughs> as opposed to a computer generated piece. Um, I think the placement of the AB drills was beautiful. For the most part, I feel like Diamond Art Club is really good at that. But there are times where I'm like, eh, maybe that's not the spot. But for this, I think that everywhere they placed an AB was absolutely beautiful. I think it really added to the image instead of just being like, here's some ABs. Um, <clears throat> there is a white AB and like a light creamy type of AB throughout all of these roses and I think it's just really beautiful. There's also some green around some of the leaves and I think there was a light purple and a light yellow. Um, but I just think that the AB placement was great. This was also a really good mix of color blocking and confetti. So if you're somebody that likes an even amount of that, I would definitely say this is the kit for you. Um, I finished this piece pretty quickly. I want to say it took me about a week and yeah, I think it's a great size. I don't think it needed to be any larger. Um, I think they chose an awesome size for it and yeah, I just, I'm really happy with the finish. Now, the things that I didn't love, <laughs> I know that I've been pretty outspoken, I guess, I don't know, um, about Diamond Art Club's new drills and this is a kit that has the new rounds. <sighs> Again, I don't love them. I will say that it was better than my last round, which was Sanctuary from Chuck Pinson. Um, I will say that these rounds were better. However, still not in love with them. Now, with that being said, Diamond Art Club has had actually like paused production on their round of drills and I believe it was a quality issue um, that they were looking into so uh, maybe it's something that they're addressing and um, where did I see that I think I saw it on Instagram that they had mentioned um, 
there wouldn't be a lot of round drill kits coming out in the next few months because they completely halted production on their round drills. Now, maybe it's because there were, you know, more than just me, people out there um, talking about the trash and all that stuff. So who knows? I'll be interested to see what happens in the coming months when they do start releasing rounds again. Um, let me show you the trash. Like I said, I, I do think that the drills were better in this kit than the last new round that I worked on. Um, I had plenty of drills. I didn't run out like I did with that other kit. Um, but the holes in the top of these drills are pretty much the same as what I had in that other kit. So hopefully you can see. Um, but yeah, all in all, I did enjoy working on this kit. The drills weren't like a huge deterrent. And I will say in that last post review, I know I keep going back to that other one. Um, I had mentioned that I didn't think the drills were as sparkly. Now, I still kind of feel that way. However, I feel like this piece is super sparkly. And that may be because of all of the ABs. Like I said, there were six. So there are a lot of ABs in here. So it could just be the number of ABs are helping with the sparkle. But I do feel like this kit sparkles a little bit better than the other one. Um, so eh, I'm still on the fence about the round drills. But I did have plenty of every color. I wasn't afraid of running out, which was a nice change. Um... I will, however, keep mentioning <laughs> that I feel like we do not get as many spares as we used to um, in the older kits. So this is 602, which is a pretty big color in this kit. It's one of the pinks, and there is not a, not a lot left, which is a little concerning when you're dealing with trash. Um, just because I feel like then you have to be even more selective. Like this one isn't perfect, but I guess I'll use it because what if I run out? Um, as I've mentioned before as well, I've never had an issue with Diamond Art Club's customer service. So if you do run out of a drill, you certainly can contact them. And uh, usually they make you wait. They ask you to wait until you've completed the whole thing, just in case you run out of other colors and then they'll send you everything at the same time. So if that is something you're worried about, um, that is something that's covered by their, what do they call it? Oopsie insurance or something. I can't remember. <laughs> is it on here? Uh, I don't know. It's their lifetime warranty on any of your canvases, as long as you're the original owner of said canvas. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this post review. Let me know if you've worked on this piece. I don't have anywhere to frame this, like to hang this in my house. It just doesn't really fit the aesthetic of my home. But I think this would be a beautiful piece to hang up somewhere. If we didn't do like a beachy theme in our bathroom, I think I would hang this in there. It's just so pretty. I don't, I don't know. I think it's beautiful. So I'm excited to see what else they have uh, coming out from this particular artist. So yeah, let me know if you have purchased this kit or have worked on it and your thoughts on I'm back because I forgot to show you my accessories. Ah, my favorite part and I forgot to do it. So really quickly, let's do that. I'm gonna say bye again and it's gonna sound so extra. So I apologize. All right, um, my washi tape is from Amanda Michelle Designs. I loved the colors and I thought it matched really well. For wax and putty, I used rose water from Randa's Crafty Corner. This is the best batch of her wax that I've used. I don't know if you guys can see that. This was brand new when I started and I think I filled my pen twice. So I was really happy with the wax this go around. I alternated between two trees. So I have this pink one from Bella Art Dana Nicole and then I have this two slot one from Crafty Creations by Ellie, I believe is the shop name. So in those areas where I felt like I had a little bit of confetti, I could have two colors out. I did really enjoy this tray. However, I when I shake a tray, I shake this way 
as opposed to this way. So that was kind of a learning curve because obviously the lines go this way. So your drills will line up like this instead of like this, um, if that makes sense. Like I'll show you the Bella Arte Nicole So I'm used to shaking this way and lining my drills up. But with this one, you have to shake. So it was a little bit of a learning curve, but I am happy with the tray. Um, the only thing is something happened to my one of my stoppers. So now it just falls out. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but it could have been my issue. I don't remember if it was an issue when I did the unboxing. For my cover minder, I used this cute little cat in a rose. I believe this one was from Galloway's Gallery. And then my pen is a cocoon blank turned by Lisa from 802 Diamond Painting Pens by Lisa. So those are all my accessories. Now I'm really going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.